Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Well, bless God, we are living in a day and a time right now where you better know who you are. We are the body of Christ. And I came to remind you of that today. Peter in 1 Peter, the second chapter, he was sending a letter to the persecuted Christians, hallelujah, to let them know who they are and who they serve. So come on and go with me while we look at the word of God to see if that can encourage you today to give you some strength to keep going. The Bible forward. says in 1 Peter, the second chapter, I want to read in your hearing verses 6 through 9. Therefore, it is also contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he who believes on him will by no means be put to shame. Therefore, to you who believe, he is precious. But to those who are disobedient, the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone and a stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble being disobedient to the word to which they also were appointed. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much for all that you have done for us. Thank you for this great salvation that we have received in that you sent your only begotten son, Jesus, into this world. And those who would believe that Jesus is Lord, Father, you have opened up so many doors. You have blessed in such a way that we can only say thank you. So, Father, as we study your word, I pray your anointing would flow and I ask in the name of Jesus that you would lead me by your spirit through this message so that your people would be edified and you my Lord would be glorified so let the words of my mouth and the meditation of mine heart father let it be acceptable in thy sight O Lord my strength and my redeemer I pray and I ask these things in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Peter, who was an apostle of Jesus, hallelujah, he walked with Jesus. Peter walked even on water when you read the Gospels. Peter loved Jesus. We can see that in the Gospels as well. And we can also see how um, Peter when, you know, the fire came and when Jesus was being persecuted, he was led away. We can also see um, Peter and his humanness, how he, you know, began to curse and he began to deny the Lord. You know, Peter went through some things, but I want you to know he came out proclaiming the greatness of our Lord. If you look at the book of Acts on the day of Pentecost, after that Holy Spirit had come, thank God for the Holy Spirit, after the Holy Spirit had come uh, and they had been endowed with power as Jesus had promised, you know, even more power, hallelujah. And it said that, you know, Peter preached Jesus and 3,000 and souls were saved he came a long way hallelujah but Jesus knew that Peter would one day need to encourage his people you know he this is the Peter that Jesus took up on the Mount of Transfiguration and he saw Jesus in all of his glory hallelujah see you need to know something in order to be able to encourage some people you need to have faith in Jesus to be able to pull the you know the lost out of their situation you have to know that Jesus is real you have to know 
know that he's able to deliver. He's able to set free. And Peter, as he walked with Jesus, no doubt he saw Jesus heal. He saw Jesus raise the dead. You know, we are those that Jesus talked about to doubt and Thomas. He said, you believe because you have seen, but blessed are they that have not seen, but yet believe. We are those people that can read the word of God and believe what God says is true. Hallelujah. And so Jesus would have Peter to encourage the Christians that were being persecuted. Do you remember in the gospel of John, the 21st chapter, I'm going to read in your hearing verses 15, 16, and 17. The Bible says, so when they had eaten breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, feed my lambs. He said to him again a second time, son of Jonah, do you love me? He said to him, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. Hallelujah. That's what Peter was doing in this letter that he sent to God's sheep. See, it is said by commentators that first Peter was written during the time that the emperor Nero was persecuting Christians. You know what he was doing? Nero, this emperor, he was feeding them to lions. He was burning them in his garden, you know, lighting up his garden. And he was making Christians fight gladi gladiators as well as killing them. You know, he was doing all this. Therefore, you can only imagine how refreshing it was to the persecuted Christians to be reminded by Peter of who Jesus was and what he had done for them, you know, in his death and resurrection and how, you know, those who believe in Jesus would not be put to shame. Yes, they were suffering but they were chosen. Hallelujah. First Peter 2 9 again says, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Hallelujah. Those that believe in Jesus are now God's special people, priests who offer spiritual sacrifices. And what are these spiritual sacrifices? It's your body, it's your soul, you know, your affections, your prayers, your praise, your alms when you give, and other duties as well. But you have to remember through Christ. We can't do it apart from being in Christ. That's the only way they are accepted because we go through Jesus, those who have believed in him. Hallelujah. What an honor to be part of the body of Christ. You know, chosen again, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and again, his special people. Can you imagine how proud, you know, Father God is a litany of people you know some of us who have not seen Jesus but we worship him no matter what we are I came to tell you the body of Christ hallelujah know today that God loves you know that I love you I'm praying for you and until we meet again hold your head up know that you are the body of Christ and keep your eyes on Jesus. God bless you. Close 
one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.